Hi, my name is Judith Jones and I've been actively involved with the Open Group since they were created in 1996. Initially, I was interested in them because they were uh, initiating standards for the IT industry, which were offering interoperability and improved operations productivity for clients. And due to the contribution and encouragement of the US government, their focus moved to creating compatible standards for IT architecture. And this was really where I became very interested because here in the UK, and also what I had seen in other uh, countries, then many of the clients that we had there were locked into vendor architectures, which were very expensive to maintain. And they didn't have a way of interoperating between themselves and the rest of the world. So I was very interested in this because my clients in the UK particularly were keen on doing uh, integration of their architecture. So that was the start of the journey really. And we ended up on a journey to enterprise architecture standards using TOGA. And that we have today and enjoy today. And we're very lucky because of the work that's been done in the last 25 years through the Open Group. So that was uh, the way in which the Open Group developed and why I became actively involved in them and why I passionately support what they're trying to do. Along the way though, the Open Group developed certification practices to upskill industries and their people. And we worked with them to set up initially the very first TOGAP training certifications that we had in the marketplace. Because it was very important that the people within businesses understood their architectures and also were able to use them and own and govern their own architecture. So that was very critical to us. Um, now the Open Group staff have always encouraged contributions from all their members to enhance the TOGAP standards and embrace the wider business world. They're always looking to ensure that the standards that we have are, are fit for purpose for everybody. It's very challenging though uh, to bring together many diverse views and it can be quite hard sometimes to reach agreement, uh, but the Open Group staff do provide the environment to do this. And they do that through their mission statement and their all-embracing member-focused activities the members' contributions are the most important to them. And they are there to help bring our ideas and bring uh, standards into the marketplace. It's a great legacy that they've created. Now they're focused very much on the broader digital world. And many of the members are embracing new technologies and initiatives to develop global enterprise-wide standards, to create a one-world enterprise. And that's quite important. We've seen how one world is really the way to go with the standards world. No point having 16 different standards um, addressing the same area. But we really want to bring all these standards together in a way that will add value to the industries and to the customer. So what we want to do is encourage standards and encourage governments and industry bodies to work together to bring harmony to the standards well for the benefit of every worldwide citizen. It's another challenging mission that they have and they're facing for the next 25 years. But we can do it with the help of our members, our customers, and governments and industry bodies. And it's all possible because the Open Group and the services they provide enable members to open up new initiatives to develop new standards and skills for the common group. So it's my hope and dream that we will have global enterprise architecture uh, coming uh, so that everybody can join in in the world. And I hope that the Open Group uh, will be successful 
in their drive to establish these global standards worldwide. So I wish you all the best. Thank you.